Welcome back to Six Lane Racing and welcome to the second race of the Corvette Tournament. This is some exciting stuff. I can't believe what we saw in the first race. Yeah, you know, the first race had me had me really excited, had me on the edge of my seat. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, especially the endings. There at the end of the race, crazy, that open, that open finish just really put the excitement in there. It also had me a little bit scared too. Well, let's find out who's gonna cause destruction. I mean, win a race today. First up, we've got Lucky Jackson driving into the 2006 C6. Then we got none other than Mike the Cameraman. Yeah, baby, way to go, Mike. He's driving in his 1997 C5. Then we've got Mike McCoy driving the 2019 ZR1 convertible. Don't know that I would have chose that one for this race. Following him, we've got Clutch Cargo. He's bringing out the 55 Vet. Yeah, it's a sweet ride right there, Clutch. Yeah, you know it. And for all you Georgia fans out there coming straight out of retirement from the Georgia Automobile Racing Hall of Fame is none other than Coot Rowan driving in the 69 Corvette Stingray. Last up, we've got Tom Swift McFarland driving in the 59 Corvette Stingray, baby. This is going to be some awesome stuff. I can't wait. I can't wait to get on with the races. Let's do this. I'm right there with you. I can't wait. I'm on the edge of my seat, which it seems like I'm always in my seat. But let's get on with race number one. Take it off for the start. Lucky Jackson and Mike the cameraman fighting for position. And oh, Lucky Jackson, oh, not so lucky. But look at this. Here comes Mike McCoy trying to fight, trying to get his way around Mike the cameraman. Clutch Cargo and Tom Swift coming in. And it looks like we've got a, a DNF on everyone. Kurola took a hard hit into that boulder. I hope that rock's okay. But look at this. Lucky Jackson, he is not so lucky. Yeah, went off the back of the track. That can't be good. Oh no, it can't be good. Well, it looks like everyone's back at the top of the pass to restart race number one. Yeah, I hope we have a better race this time than we did last time. It looks like Mike and Lucky are fighting it out for position number one. Oh, big mess. And whoa, look at that. Mike McCoy out of nowhere passes everybody. He's coming around for the finish. Yeah, baby. Boom, right there. That's how you finish a race. Strong right in the cop cars. I don't think that's really how we want to finish the race. I'd prefer them to hit their brakes. But anyway, take a look at this. Uh, man, Mike McCoy out of nowhere goes underneath Mike the cameraman while he's going around that turn. He opens it up right there. He about loses control, but gains it back and takes it on home for the win. Well, up here on turn two, it looks like a salvage yard. Look, everybody's all upside down on the hoods other than Kuro and managed to keep his wheels right. Take a look at this here. Man, boom, right there. Mike the cameraman. He ought to be called Mike the stuntman. Karen, can we name Mike the cameraman Mike the stuntman? Now we got all that mess cleaned up. Let's get on with race number two. Let's see who's going to take this one. Man, it's been exciting so far. Look at him go. Man, I tell you what, Lucky Jackson and Mike Carrier, they got some fast cars, but Lucky is all over the place. Yeah, Lucky had the second fastest qualifying times, but as you see, that doesn't matter. You still got to know how to drive on this track. I mean, the C8R, he didn't make it to the finish. So you just got to be able to drive and drive fast and keep it under control. And as you can see here, doesn't look like anybody can keep it under control, but look at Mike McCoy takes a hard hit up there on the boulders as well. We're gonna have to take a look at that corner, make sure it's okay. That means we get to play with some dynamite and blow up some stuff, right? Uh, um, no, we're not gonna play with any dynamite. We're not, we're not blowing up anything. And anyway, look at Lucky once again. He is over. Oh, cool, Roland takes a huge spin out. And are you kidding me? We have another DNF for everybody. Tom Swift takes a huge hit right here. Almost pulls a McClyde on the other side of the road. Racing Peace, Peace McClyde. McClyde. Here comes Leggy on his hood. But take a look, here's Mike the cameraman. I mean the stuntman. The coup roll. And that's where they did some major car acrobatics right there. That's crazy, man. It's pure craziness. I tell you, this is not the track to bring a convertible to. You, you people drive Mike and Coot, you guys all to, and Tom Swift and Clutch. Wow, four of you have convertibles in this tournament? Well, look at Lucky go. That's the car we saw in the qualifying rounds. I mean, look at the gap that guy's got on everybody. He's for sure got this one in the bag. And Mike McCoy coming in right behind him. Oh, no. Oh, look. Oh, look. Whoa, look at that. It looked like Mike was trying to put on the brakes, but he must have accidentally hit the gas afterwards. Ah, these finishes, they never get old. Speaking of finishing, it looks like Clutch... Coot and Tom Swift, they are hanging out up here on turn two. Looks like they got tangled up coming across the bridge, but look at Mike McCoy taking turn two high, right around Mike the cameraman. That's how you take a turn in these races. Yeah, that was some solid driving on Mike McCoy's part. You know, uh, 
navigate around Mike the Stuntman. Speaking of which, where is he? Oh, there he is. He is stuck on turn three. I wonder what happened to him there. You know, he was on his hood. We came around turn two. I'm guessing that he just basically slid on down this one. Whoa, look at that. Wow, I did not see that at all. The lucky. His car was going so fast, he almost went off of turn three. That would have been the second turn that he's gone off of. Yeah, Lucky's car, as we mentioned, is a super fast car, but he needs to get a little bit more control of the steering, if you know what I mean. And here we go with race number three. Look at, well, Mike's got a good lead. Oh, look at that. Mike and uh, Mike and Coop there, yeah, they're fighting up there. Oh, Coop flips over. Mike's car, oh, no, Mike flips over. The, oh, my gosh. Oh, it looked like Clutch flipped over. I don't know if that was Clutch or Mike McCoy. Oh my goodness, I can't tell who actually wound up winning this race. Yeah, that was a hard one to tell who won. Let's take a look here in slow motion and we'll put the magnifier on it. It looked like Coot Roland came through first with Mike the Stuntman behind him, but Mike looks like he got hung up in the tunnel. Then there's Clutch Cargo coming through and Mike McCoy right after that pushing his way through the finish. Gear turn one, Tom McFarlane right here. Boom! Takes a huge hit. He is trying flip off this track these guys are going so fast they blew the sign off the billboard also it looks like tom swift mcfarland ended up on his hood on turn number two and also on turn number two is lucky jackson not so lucky this time he's off the track now looking here at the turn two camera lucky takes a boom hard hit right there coming off the bridge that's why he ends up not making it around the turn yeah, that is unfortunate but maybe he'll have better luck in this race i mean after all he is named lucky jackson and they're off I don't know what that was. Cameron's looking a little weird, but look at that. Yeah, Lucky's got him a great. Oh, he's, oh, he got out of that. Everybody's having a good time in this race. Yeah, they're coming in fast on those. Oh, man. Look at that. Lucky flies in that F-150. Coot rolling right behind him, and then Mike hits him again and knocks him straight into Poe Boy. Yeah, this was a great race, and this is why Coot Rowland is in the Georgia Hall of Fame. Look at him. He flips over, gets pushed down the track, and then flips back over onto his wheels. He is hanging right there with him, tries to spin it back around. Oops, made him a little mistake. Besides, he's like, heck with it, I'm going to go in Crazy Jimmy style. It looked like Mike McCoy was trying Crazy Jimmy style too, but he's getting hung up. He unfortunately didn't make it through the tunnel. And I thought Tom Swift was actually going to make it to the end of a race. Unfortunately, he did not. But look at here. Lucky coming through. There's Coot on the top. Mike's right behind him. Then there's Clutch behind that. There's the mic, and then there you go. Yep, look at that. See, so he caught the rock and just couldn't make it to the finish line. It looks like Mike's got the pole position on this one. So if he keeps the speed up, he stands a good chance to win. I agree with that. He's got the speed to win this race. He's got a great lead, but oh man, it looks like Tom Swift took a hard hit there at the end. Mike ended up doing a little slide there, a little drifting with Mike the cameraman. Oh no, look at that. Mike the stunt man. Coming in there, I went to the parking spot, or and wow, where did Lucky come from? Oh, finishing some touches there on that F-150. I don't know, Coot ended up doing a pretty good stunt job himself. Look how close Mike the camera gets to the cameraman. Oh, and then there you go, Mike McCoy ends up hammering a home straight at a police cruiser. You know, I don't think it's a good thing that they keep running into the police cruisers. I mean, they are there for public safety. I have a feeling they will come back for some revenge. Yeah, well, let's check out Mike the Stuntman. Check him out over here. He is in a parking spot. I think he's asking that guy for a burger. You know, a burger sounds pretty good about right now. Take a look here at Tom Swift. He is just not having a very good race. Yeah, it seems like he has just had a hard time up here on turn one. He's either hit somebody or hit something or flipped around trying to flip off the mountain. He is just struggling with this turn. Yeah, it looked like Clutch Cargo here. He turned around. He spun out over on the turn two coming across the bridge. Check everybody out. Here comes Mike McCoy. He is just flying around. Mike the cameraman. There's Coot right after him. This is where he found out the lucky. He didn't get so lucky. He got behind cargo. He still ended up making it to the end, which explains why he's so late. Well, better lucky than never. He's tied with Coot Rowan for second place. Now, Mike McCoy is going to be the winner of Corvette race number two. But who's going to come in second and third? Oh, look at that. Mike the cameraman, the stunt man. He is taking it home. Yo, baby, way to go, Mike! Clutch Cargo coming out of nowhere. What looks like going to be for second place. Oh, look at that. That F-150 has taken a beating today. Oh, what a great finish by Mike the Cameraman. I mean, Mike the Stuntman. You know what? If everybody else is a DNF, which I haven't seen anybody else come through, means we're going to have a three-way tie for second place. Oh, once again, Tom Swift McFarland stuck on the first corner. He's swift about not finishing a race. Look at this. Another boom right on that rock. And it looks like Lucky's not so lucky here. He flipped upside down just past turn two. 
And right there, not too far behind him, is Mike McCoy and Coot. He's sitting on the side of the road. Let's take a look and see what happened here to those three. Coming across the bridge, it looks like they got tangled up right there just where the lane reducer takes place. But look at Clutch Cargo. That's why his middle name is Clutch, because he is bringing it home when he needs to. I thought it was because he knew how to drive a stick. Either way, we got a three-way tie for second and third, so we're going to have a tiebreaker race. And whew, here we go. We got Lucky. He takes the pole position because he had the fastest qualifying time, then Mike, and then Coot Roland. Yeah, so basically it's first two across the finish line, right? That's exactly right. It looks like Mike got a jump on Lucky, and whoa, no, Mike has flipped over. Oh, there goes Coot Roland. Let's see what happens here with Lucky. Lucky's going in backwards. He's going in Crazy Jimmy style. Yeah, you gotta love Crazy Jimmy style. Whoa, boom, look at that. Another great finish by hitting the cop car. I thought we said we're not celebrating hitting the cop cars. Yeah, you're right. Let's just focus on the race here between Mike and Coot. Coot's got a great lead right off the start. Looks like Coot's got a lead on Mike through the first turn. And he goes, oh my, what a, what a hit for Coot. And Mike just smooth sailing. Oh, he's pulling some stunts coming in there at the end. Yeah, Coot had a great lead right here on Mike from the very beginning. Right in the first turn, the both of them coming around that turn like a champ. He got a little sideways, and when you got up on the edge of the road, he hit the rock, and man, that was a bad hit for him. I believe he's going to be okay. And then from that point, my Mike was just smooth sailing, taking it easy right on in for the finish. Well, there you have it for the second race series of the Corvette Tournament. Whew, what some exciting racing. Now that was a lot of exciting races, especially the finishes when they would hit the cop cars. Seriously, I'm going to have them haul you away in a cop car. That gives me a great idea. Hey, Karen, it remind me to talk to you about the cop cars after this race. And there you have it. We got Mike McCoy came in first in this race. Shortly after that, we had Lucky Jackson and Mike the cameraman finishing it off. Do you smell burgers? I sure do. And we're going to go get one of those here in just a little bit. Right now, we want to say thank you for watching this second race series of the Corvette Tournament. Stay tuned as the finales will be coming up here in the very near future. In the meantime, remember, we'll see you over the pass. You were a little late on that one. I was still thinking about the burgers over there.